mm. accidents door uh, Thunderclap Newman, opgenomen in 1970 met uh, Jimmy McCullough op de gitaar, Andy Newman aan de piano, Pete Townsend, producer, maar ook aan de bas. Who played the harmonica? Chris um, Moffat. Uh -huh. is a photographer. And Speedy King, he had uh, let you say. Why are you called Speedy anyway? Speedy Gonzalez, I know, but... Uh, yeah, it comes from a long time ago, really. really uh, you really don't really want to talk about it? No, 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 I don't want to talk about it. I used to have a motorbike called um, a Speed Twin, you know? Uh -huh. And, um, you know, like, to, to get anywhere as a drummer in the early days, you had to do, you know, what I'd term as, as like, a Keith Moon, do you know what I mean? I mean, nobody could do it except for him, the way he does it. But you had to be fast and furious, you know, and, and everybody used to call me Speedy from the motorbikes. And it just uh, escalated. Uh, <laughs> escalated? From, from there, yeah. <laughs> Speedy. <laughs> to okay. the drums. Yeah. Um, what about uh, Pete Townsend? He produced the album at his home studio. Pete Townsend had this place thuis gemaakt op uh, twee Reefoxen vertaald to John Manette. And. Uh, well, it was kind of an adventurous thing for him to do in 1970. Yeah. yeah, he used to, like, make all his own demos for The Who, right? You know, of how he wanted it to be. And on my life, I mean, they were incredible, you know, as they were, right? Before The Who even did them, you know. He's always done that, you know. So that part of The Hill was already overcome. But, like, to play bass, we did most of it on two Revoxes. That's two two-track tape recorders. Um, to play bass and mix down all at the same time, because once you do it, it's done. You've either got to redo it, or, do you understand what I mean? When yeah. you mix things down and add things as you're recording, it's straight onto tape. And most of them were done like that, and I think that's, I mean, when you, the, the yeah. production on it, to me, is superb. And the, the quality is superb. Exactly, ja, het, uh, het geluid van die plaat Hollywood Dream, die trouwens in Amerika, zegt John, maar ook net, 162.000 exemplaren heeft verkocht, uh, nog, uh, Kort geleden. When was that? When the, the album was released in the United States? This one, Hollywood Dream. Uh, when was it? Right away. Yeah, 69. 69. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it also sold a lot of copies uh, after you released the second one, Previous Convictions. Right, yeah. Mm. Well, I think they've, you know, reashed it a couple of times, you know. Mm. The only thing is they, in last year, they, they redid it, um, re, um, you know, released it, and they changed the cover, and I like the cover, I think the cover's very, what the record is, very up front, yeah. you know. Yeah, the hoes is, is net as the plant is, zegt hij, you, you see the three zeer vreemdsoortige heren, the pianist Andy, met bril, a zeer lange pipe, a pet op, Jimmy McCullough, die zo te zien op zijn schoot zit, and John, met pet, and ze hebben een ouderwetse foto, uh, yeah, is it an, uh, what is this, what is it? Uh, I think that's the back uh, compressed machine. into the front. That's the camera, right? That's one of the very early, 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 uh, early uh, movie cameras. Camera. Okay, let's uh, let's go on to the the newer things you've done. You, uh, he has an uh, LP gemaakt die heeft previous convictions. The liefhebbers hebben hem in dit programma heel vaak kunnen horen. En op het ogenblik is hij bezig met een uh, met een nieuwe plaat. Uh, you're recording at the moment. You almost finished a new album. Yeah, I've just done What's two. happening? What's going on on the new album? Well, you know, same thing, same thing, songs. Uh, I mean, I think it'll always be songs, you know. Um, but, uh, you know, I've just done a mammoth amount of recording mm -hmm. um, since last October. And uh, basically, I went in to do a concept album. Mm. But like, um, what do you mean by that? A concept uh, LP? Yeah, just a story, really, that the songs fitted round. You know what I mean? You know, and um, you know, which would have come out as a concept. You know, in other words, as a like a Tommy thing. I know? see. So it's a story. But unfortunately, you know what I mean? Uh, like, as time caught up with us, inflation caught up with us, and I, and I really, you know, got to the point halfway through where I thought, you know, nobody can even afford a double album these days. You know what I mean? I actually a double LP with a mark. What is the subject, what is the concept on this new album that's going to be released in September, I believe? Yeah, um, it, it's no longer a concept, unfortunately. Now it's two <laughs> separate albums, right? <laughs> yeah. You know, such is life. Um, <laughs> no, but so now they're two separate albums, so the first one comes out in September. It's what it is today, I think. It's going to be two albums instead of a double one. Yeah. I see. Um, we're going to play uh, one track. We're going to play one track. The song is Crazy Love. Uh, well, what can you tell about that? Crazy love, it's clear enough. 
Yes, clear enough. It's very crazy uh, and very clear. Um, fresh, too. It's amazingly fresh. Uh, nothing is one, one, one of the early ones that we did in the first lot of recording, you know? And each, I mean, most of the songs I do, each one I approach differently, apart from the Thunderclap stuff, where that had the same vein running through, you know? Uh, but, like, the previous Convictions album and these, the newer albums, are... You know, um, you know, mostly just songs, and they're all um, approached differently every time. You know, mm. so you get, you know, kind of more colour. You know. Ja, de liedjes zijn allemaal uh, vanuit de tekst op een uh, speciale manier uh, muzikaal vormgegeven, zal ik maar zeggen, als ik hem helemaal goed begrijp. Oké, okay, ken je een naam zit? Well, be a disc jockey for one moment. I'll be a